The son of a murder victim finding ways to declare victory over violence tonight <laughs> after his father was gunned down last week in Pine Bluff. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm I can't what's exactly happening. Around, our Hunter Holland has been following this story all week and Hunter and the family says that they plan to forgive the killer. Yeah, Donna, that's right. It's not a message you often hear. This is Robert Thomas, the man who police say shot 56-year-old Edson Jones. I talked to his family tonight and says... That, are you you are you what is happening? They're using gun violence to solve their problems. Do you always have a smile? It's the happy memories Lamont Randall holds on to. That was so my time. Thinking back to a time when his father, Edson Jones, was there by his side. Life's too short. You gotta learn to cherish your mom. But those moments Mom. ripped away by Mom, the hands of another. Mom, what's happening? Pine Bluff police say his father was shot and killed at the apartments off South Beach Street in Pine Bluff. Got a little cry. I'm in breathing, but you know, I'm just taking it day by day. 22-year-old Robert Thomas charged in his death. Police say the shooting happened following an argument. It breaks my heart to see a 22-year-old do his life well with nothing. Randall says his father was someone everyone could depend on in Pine Bluff, and that his death was senseless. Well, he didn't deserve to die. Now calling for people across the state to put down their weapons and solve their problems another way. Mom, this is amazing. This is really amazing. This is really amazing. This young generation needs to grow see you, Dad, on and TV. Think before they make dumb decisions like that. Police say they're still working to figure out exactly what happened prior to the shooting. Edson's funeral will be next Saturday. Wait, is that the in same Pine guy? Bluff. As for his alleged killer, he's currently behind bars. Damn it. Are you kidding me?